Hey folks, welcome to the Almond Landscape YouTube channel. What's up? Thanks for joining us. Our goal is to make you a better landscape contractor, maybe inspire you. Today, hopefully, is a video that's going to inspire you uh, if you're on the come up and trying to grow to whatever level you're trying to go to, or you just want to see how we're doing it, whatever. Today is an equipment and truck tour, so here we go. All right, my truck. This is my brand new 2024 Chevy Silverado. Uh, my first brand new vehicle ever, so that's a big step, and I'm really excited for it. I love that truck. Um, I can't wait to get a Denali HD, right? It's always a faster car, isn't it terrible, folks? You might check out episode 503 of the Kid Contractor podcast talking about why I hate trucks. Because I love them. Uh, we're walking through the shop here. Check out our shop tour series. We're, uh, we're, we're going through here, but I'm going to show you the fleet now. Here we go. The shop area. I did a shop tour. Uh, the place of the mess. <clears throat> it's uh, peak season. We just came in off of three big jobs. So it's job one, a job two, and a job three of uh, the boxes and crates that come in. The Hardscape Academy area, talk about that or whatever, but today we're talking equipment. This is our Toro buggy. This thing is uh, a super handy rig. It doesn't get used as much as I actually thought we would when we bought it. So it actually has really low hours on it, but this thing is incredibly handy uh, for moving mulch around when we do both. <laughs> Like this is, oh, this is uh, incredibly handy for placing material in a French drain. The guys use it and love it for mulch applications. Uh, they put like 20 bags of mulch in that thing and drive around properties and apply mulch that way. We really love that. Uh, that's Pap's tractor, my father-in-law, so <clears throat> that doesn't really apply to the empire here. Here we go. Okay, so I remember when I was a kid contractor, I used to think just even owning a trash pump would be like, man, we're big time. Uh, we got our Ditch Witch SK1550 here. Absolutely love that machine if you can afford it. This thing does everything that thing does. It just can't reach as high. But, I mean, it it, it really, it'll move around a 2,500-pound skid of pavers. Whether or not it's supposed to, I don't know, but it does. Best mini skids here on the market in that class or even close. But it costs as much as that thing. So, you got to kind of weigh your options there. But size-wise, you got that package in there. It's just a wonderful machine. Love it. Uh, reversible plate compactor. We got a couple of those. Uh, the Ditch Witch SK750. I almost sold this thing to put money down on that, and I decided not to, and I'm so glad we kept this machine. Uh, it's got a lot of hours on it, 2,500 hours on it, I think. Uh, it has some downtime here and there, so we have to accept that. But otherwise, it's been a solid machine. Bobcat T595, my first brand new skids here I ever bought. I absolutely love this thing. Um... I absolutely love this Bobcat, and it's mainly probably a nostalgia thing because I uh, this is my first Bobcat, the brand new Bobcat. We had a 763 prior to this, but it was old and beat up and just in horrible shape. Uh, this we bought, and I was just so excited. Uh, so I just love that machine, but it's been really handy. Any skid steers you buy, in my opinion, if you're in landscape contracting, you want wide tracks, wide track models, wide track models because we got to be as easy on the yards as possible. We're usually the last guy out or we're in on finished properties and we've got to be gentle on the yards. So we want those wide tracks. Uh, we got a dump trailer here, been a super handy thing. This is something you should have uh, year one of your landscaping company. If you don't have a dump truck, uh, really handy to put your mini skid steers in, not handy to put your full size skid steers in, it's a pain. This thing's getting rusty. We need to replace it, it needs to leave the fleet. Uh, needs to get updated. We want to get one of the, another one of these ants trailers. I'll show you that here in a minute. Things wild. This is our Cabelco SK55 five and a half ton machine with the beloved steel wrist, and it's absolutely awesome. Absolutely love this machine. I love this six ton, uh, five five and a half ton. We had a three and a half ton ahead of this, and a great starter machine. But man, this five and a half ton. You get into logistics issues with the hauling because it is heavy. Uh, but man, that five and a half ton, the reach it's got, it's got like 17 foot of reach. And then you pair it with this bad boy. And man, it's just a different animal, folks. I will never have a excavator without a tilt rotator on it. Hands down, full stop. Never will have not have that machine on there. About $30,000 right there. But I don't know how to tell you otherwise. Like, you will never go back. It's the most amazing 
thing for your machine ever and you see lots of videos all that whatever uh this trailer tow master here got this from andy bought this specifically any motor just specifically to haul this hoe because this thing wasn't heavy enough to do it uh we we buy a lot of sure tracks we get a sure track dealer down the road mcguire's truck they're awesome folks we we do like to sure tracks this trailer though the guys are asking for a second one they want another one of these to replace that other dump trailer over there and the reason being it's a live bottom trailer with this rubber belt gosh darn it this was not supposed to get left on here but here we are um <coughs> ah, but whatever uh, but it's a live belt rubber bottom trailer and yeah it, it it takes abuse pretty well i mean it gets some nicks in it we've had this thing for two years now and uh we've been using it man We're, we don't take it easy on this thing and it's doing awesome um we got one little rip in the rubber right here we got to deal with other than that, it's the only issue we've ever had with this thing in two years of hard use. It's been awesome. But I'll show you what this does. It's absolutely awesome. Here's what it does. And then also, it tips up like this so that you can load machines. Whoa! <laughs> So you can load machines in it and um, it's absolutely handy as can be i love this machine. man how about there's that much water on that mat that's crazy who would have thought but so that rubber mat goes clear back and there's a bunch of water and we got a ton of rain last night So anyways, that thing is handy as can be, and we've used it for so many different things, it's crazy. Uh, we'll start the Hardscape trailer here, and just a quick tour of this thing. Um, this was supposed to get put in there. I'll take it, nobody got through this thing yesterday. We're supposed to go through here and clean this thing up a little bit. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, folks. Jeepers creepers. Um, we were supposed to go through this trailer yesterday, and uh, Man, that stinks. This thing was going down the road and then like my side was done. Oh. Oh. Man, that sucks. And that's exactly why stuff just in a company it's just consumable, right? Like everything gets torn up. And uh gosh, it's just a shame that uh that happens, but that's construction, and I've broken plenty of stuff in my company. And when, you know, when I'm out in the field, I break plenty of stuff and I make plenty of mistakes. And so, and I really care, right? And it's not saying my guys don't care, but they don't care like I care, right? They, they, nobody ever cares like the owner cares. Nobody loves the baby like you love the baby, right? So you got to keep that in mind as an owner. Um, doesn't mean we don't have standards and expectations and all that kind of stuff. But as leaders, we have to be realistic with what we're expecting out of our people depending on how they're compensated right so that's a whole nother con conversation there this is uh mr bo's truck here and it's got everything it needs in it to see like the red paint right there you know all these things are color coded so anything with red paint is supposed to be on this trailer anything with orange paint on it like those come alongs are supposed to be on that uh one cage so everything is uh kind of everything blue is supposed to have hardscape it's supposed to be hardscape academy tools uh this truck is outfitted with everything we need 
to make jobs happen and uh it's uh really well set up that's uh this is an older i think it's an 08 f350 here with the v10 engine been a great solid truck for us uh been a great solid truck and that v10 is a great great engine uh basic f250 here uh nothing too fancy about it just a plain old work truck and it rides rough as can be we put an extra leaf spring in it uh that was pseudo mistake because it rides so rough it's miserable to drive i hate dri i like this truck i hate driving it it's miserable to drive this is the beloved and hated f or uh what is this thing uh, the International 4300, so backpack toolbox on it, awesome. Dump body, fold down sides are absolutely awesome for loading stuff in this thing. Really, really, really the way to go. We absolutely love that. Um, but just a big old truck. And uh, just remember, big trucks, big problems. And uh, that's kind of the way that goes. So big, big repair bills, right? This is our Dodge uh, one-ton dually. Uh, service body really handy because you've got just all this stuff in here stored all the time mr travis is generally the person with this truck and uh it's just got again every truck is outfitted with darn near everything it needs to make each thing happen um we had a a tool storage system in this thing and apparently it's just not approved because everything's piled in there so we're trying to figure out a good system for that uh, none has been proposed yet, so we got to get on that to figure that out. We've got uh, the, you know, it's just it's just an awesomely outfitted truck, and uh, just a just a nice nice rig all along. That big Hemi, it's a great engine again. We don't live in the mountains of West Virginia. We're just here in the beginning of Southeast Ohio, so uh, we're mostly flattish. So we don't need big diesel trucks to pull stuff. If we were in mountain country or whatever, yeah, diesels are going to kind of be a, a requirement. But uh, we're making gas haulers do for now until we can afford that. And that's the thing I recommend anybody do is you buy the best machines and best tools and best equipment you can afford at the time. And again, with LMN, you keep working this into your pricing and you keep putting in the stuff you need to buy in your budget so you can be recovering that cost and those overheads. So you're making the kind of money you deserve to make. Uh, with that beautiful steel wrist, we got a lot of attachments for it. And we store this broom upside down so it doesn't warp and stuff like that. But we got this broom, it's super handy. This asphalt cutter that we haven't really messed with yet. Uh, this grade beam is handy. We've got a cabling bucket and then just a standard two foot digging bucket. That rake is really handy. We got an adapter plate for that rake, that landscape rake right there. This adapter plate is so cool, the three point hitch adapter plate. So we put that on there and use that to clean up properties. Uh, the broom is the next best thing. Auger great thing i bought years and years ago actually by the way we have an upfit attachment on that too so mini skid plate upfit to a full size and what that allows you to do obviously is use the 1550 and even the 750 to drill holes right it's super handy big broom uh, bucket thingy a backup bucket for the excavator the steel wrist grapple a steel wrist compactor uh el cheapo grapple for the full size skid steer um and then it uh, a jib boom for the excavator so we can reach out and lay uh or it's just you know it's just a jib boom right so uh, a lot of the stuff we need to get out of the gravel or out of the dirt and mud we just we've got so much here yet that needs done on this facility uh it's gonna be a work in progress so probably gonna take us another year to get this place where we really really want it uh so that's what it is so that's the equipment tour i think that's everything you know one last thing if you're buying a mini skid steer or a full size even the three things you, i think you need a set of forks you have to buy a tooth bucket and then a smooth bucket right so um that 1550 is big enough it can really dig pretty good without that <coughs> the teeth <coughs> but this little tooth bucket's pretty handy when you got to really cut into something so tooth bucket smooth edge bucket forks the three things you have to have with the mini skid steer the steel wrist you got to have a grading bucket a cabling bucket for trenching um and then it, anything else on that you can afford immediately do it excuse me but anything else you can afford at the moment do it uh and then just upgrade tools that broom is handy i would recommend a broom for that that thing but anyways that's the fleet as it stands we're exploring upfitting every up, upgrading all the trucks but you know the, the thing is with that the trucks aren't what really make us our money right it's the machines and that's why we have such an emphasis on the machines and the machines being newer and reliable if a truck breaks down yeah that sucks but i can get this stuff too the to the job one way or another i can hire 
a rollback service, a towing company, whatever, they can get this stuff on site. That's not my problem. I need this stuff when it's on site. It, I need it working. Because if it's down, it means our guys aren't working. And they're sitting in trucks, right? So we don't put a lot of emphasis on the trucks themselves. Uh, they need to be outfitted properly, yes. But we don't care so much about them being brand new, top of the line, anything. Because the equipment is what makes us our money. And staff. So we put our emphasis on the staff and the equipment. That's the number one thing for us. Now, if we were in a service business, like irrigation service or mowing, where the truck has to be on the road every day, yeah, that's that's a different animal. That, those vehicles need to be reliable because your money is made by getting to every site with a basic toolkit, right? So a couple quick things there. That's the thing. Um, yeah, that's it. So the Hardscape Academy, Kid Contractor Podcast, Together in the Trades, Almond Landscape, Almond Environmental, um i think that's it so uh that's that is the equipment tour here folks of what the uh the whole arsenal looks like at the moment so again buy the best stuff you can afford at the time and buy the things that are going to make you most efficient that's the idea have a great one folks we'll see you